Welcome back to Alma, Missouri for episode 4 with me, Mr. Sealy P. We're here on Alma. I'm sure this is probably not what you were expecting. It was not what I was expecting. I was expecting to go live today with this. However, I won't go into the boring details, but things have happened. I'm not going to be able to go live, unfortunately. But it doesn't matter. We've still got work to do. Um, I took on a bailing contract. I've got two harvesting contracts to do. So the, the giving you guys, you decide what I'm going to do. Today's been kind of predetermined by a couple of bits and bobs. Anyway, um, we have also got, I mentioned before, the bank owns the farm along the road. Um, and they've got a harvest contract that the farm owner had that's got to be fulfilled. So we're going to go and do that to stand us in good stead with the bank in case at any point we need to borrow any money or we need, you know, we need any help with finance or whatever but this bailing contract is complete i've delivered all the bales to complete the contract and we've got 14 left so i'm taking these to the farm then we can complete on this because as you can see we're down a little bit when i delivered the last load i must have miscalculated because it paid me a little bit for i think one bale over i might have been but that's okay it doesn't matter being one bale over we got paid a little bit um so yeah when do you get some finances back in because of the bits and bobs i bought in the last episode doing the Halloween thing wasn't cheap and obviously we bought the um, skid steer loader and a trailer and some bits and bobs so yeah it's um, left us a little bit short but we'll be okay like I said we get a couple of contracts done and um, we are going to get the payment for the contract um, for the bank um, they don't want the money they just need the contract doing because it's kind of on the estate's books and it needs to be sorted out so they've asked for local farmers and we've stepped up that at least is the plan. How's everyone today? Hope you're all well. Hope you're feeling well. It's a week today that the new premium expansion slash edition, depending on what version you're going to go for, if you don't play the game yet or you haven't got FS22 yet, you might buy the entire premium edition, which will come with everything. If you've got season pass, you'll get it anyway. I know a lot of people have been asking me if I've got a season pass, do I get the premium? expansion do i get zalonka do i get yes you do if you've got this season pass you do get all the extra stuff that's all good that's safe that's yours um yeah a week today so uh as i said when i was streaming the other day i wasn't i wasn't trying to be you know obnoxious or anything when i said about controversy and i was playing devil's advocate i was asking the question how do people feel what do people think you know about i need to put some kind of shelter i said that didn't i um hay bales oh, i do i've shown you hay bales i got off of the field not hay bales straw bales they're all off the field oh plowing i need to do as well um so i've got all my straw bales we've got hay bales we've got silage bales around the side we've got silage fermenting we haven't got a lot of silage bales that's a good point and that's not going to be anywhere near done yet um we haven't had any other silage bale Actually, we haven't had any silage baling contracts at all. That was off of this field, wasn't it? That was alfalfa silage bales that we did. Is that right? It was, wasn't it? Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to drop these off, complete this contract, then I'll use the skids to load to move these around, or we'll use these for the first set of... Um... I don't want to put them too far away. Yeah, the first set of uh, Tolmix ration we need to do when we sort the cows out. So... So we'll have to swap over onto the bank's account so we can access the um, contract. We have got two harvest contracts for us that need doing, actually. Two um, canola ones. Both need to be taken to the grain sell point. And we've got our harvester, so I didn't borrow equipment, so we can get out and get those done as well, I guess. We have got all of that um, wheat in the silo. So I was wondering whether or not it was worth, mind you, because I thought about doing, um, we'll do the corn, we'll dry that, because I want to do some of the productions in town, I want to have a go at some of the stuff that's available, you know, popcorn and that kind of stuff, and cornbread, and uh, that's my plan. Right, that's that done. Actually, you know what I'll do, we'll, we might as well, I was going to say, I'll grab the pickup, we'll drive back into town, I might as well take this back while we're going so that's done oh yeah I can't complete the contract yet otherwise all this stuff will disappear so we'll head back we'll grab that I'm not even quite sure where the contract is
What is that? Oh, that's not good. The bales that have been left sitting out. I don't know how that's happened. We need to get to the fire station. If that spreads, that could be horrendous. That could burn everything down. We need to get these cows out of the field as well. Before that gets any worse. Because if that spreads further, just the smoke alone. Right. Let's get to the fire station. We'll drop this off. We'll get to the fire station. Unfortunately, we don't have the pack available on console yet, but it is coming. It's still coming, apparently, from Creative Mesh. We are going to be getting it. So before anyone starts thinking, how's he doing it? Is he on PC? No. The harvest equipment is sat there. I just can't remember what it was. <laughs> right, stop there. Completing the contract. Let's go. As far as I'm aware, the fire department here in town is like a volunteer fire service. I don't think it's a standing... Oh, that was, that was good timing. The last thing we needed was uh, to get here and the barriers be down. I'm sure I passed the fire station when we came in. I think it's here. No parking in time. There you go. Fire station. Cool. Traffic's mad. This just makes me feel even more. We've got to get these cows out as soon as possible. They've been left too long anyway. It has spread. Sparks are horrendous. It's moving right over. do here. I know it's embarrassing. My hose isn't as big as some other firefighters. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, slay them all. First bit done. I'm never quite sure. I've not been a firefighter, I don't wouldn't know. I need to ask Clutch. So when you're tackling a fire like this, I suppose we'll find out when the creative mesh pack comes. Um, for a fire like this, you tackle it so you drench it from above. So I say, was it with fire extinguishers you go to the base of the fire? Is it or is it base of the fire always? I don't know. I've never had to tackle a blaze. I might volunteer for the local fire department. Just thinking. Two down. One to go. I think what we're also going to have to do is we're going to have to go over here and 
get these bales moved because it's all well and good us so well it's, it's the bank's problem but the bank aren't here the local farmers are here if this happens i'm standing here chatting we've got another bit still going um well these need to be cleared i think got rid of we can't risk this happening again I get into it. Oh, the heat! Too close. It's burning my beard. It's the last one I need. A singed beard. Like I say, that I think highlights more than anything now. We need to sort this out. We've got to sort this situation. Blimey. The old heart's pounding, pounding. Right, I think, just trying to work out now. I think we need to move the cows. I think uh, we'll get we'll get up there and I'll get that contract done. Um, but we need to move these cows. I need to go and grab. Um, oh, we'll grab the pickup. Doesn't matter the pickup or one of the tractors. Um, we'll sort out a trailer. We'll get them moved over to the farm. Get some TMR made, um, and then at a later date we'll come back and we'll clear this. It's the neighbourly thing to do, I think. I know this was simulated. Um, I can't wait to do it properly with the, yeah. I think that'd be absolutely amazing. Blimey, right. I'll see you back at the store in a minute. We will swap over, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do that now, um, just to double check, because I can't remember. If we swap over, swap over to the bank um, and go to harvesting, what have they got? Uh, harvesting peas, pea harvest, Infield six pays okay. If we have any peas left, great. Field six is oh, there you go, right down the corner. Hang on a minute. That did say the peas in field six and take to production grain sell point so why on the map is field 32 flashing peas are definitely the darker green that's canola that's one of my contracts how bizarre like i say we've got to plow this field we've got um Fertilising to do, haven't we? Yeah, ploughing to do that. Oh, liming probably as well. Oh, we can't with the alfalfa. We'll have to leave that. That will need to be limed. Uh, let's turn that off. It's got one fertilising state, so that needs liming as well. Let's crack on, shall we? I like my pickup, but I have to say, it's noisy. I wonder if I can take it to the garage and whether we can get an engine swap done in it, maybe. Um, having just been out in the um, the fire department's one, it's got more of a, I don't know, a more gentle sort of engine sound. Possibly it's an old gas guy, so this is probably more of a, a high-tuned performance engine, maybe, I don't know. I prefer the other sound, but I don't know. We'll see. It's probably better to have a more modern one. Guess they've just got to make sure it's all all damped down 
everything's out. There's no embers. There's nothing that potentially could keep going. It's a worry. So we need to sort out a livestock trailer. It's not going to be anything massive. We don't have a lorry, so... Um, getting one... Wrong side of the road again. Yeah, so getting one that um, requires... Um, the lorry is a tricky one. Did I mention before? I'm just thinking. Um, oh, actually, we have technically, haven't we? Well, I don't have to get away with it. Seeing as we're doing this for the bank, although to lease a larger trailer is even more expensive, but the contract for the bank has got a lorry and trailer. I did find that interesting. Actually, I was thinking about this. Um, when you get um, certain certain maps, certain things. Um, and as far as I'm aware, the equipment laid out for contract is um, is set out by the, the creator, not the creator creator, but the creator of the map. Um, and it always strikes me as odd when you've got an American map that you don't get contracts with American lorries, or is it random? I, as far as I was aware, it was it was set by the map maker, but I don't know actually now. I could be wrong on that. But, I just had a panic moment, I'm not going to lie. Um, this might be an issue I'm going to have, and I'm thinking about as we move around into next summer. The ambient temperature, that kind of thing. Um, my PlayStation 5 is clean. I've had the top off, it's all cleaned out. Um, and I, But when in the man cave, because I can't regulate the heat. The wood stove is on or off. I can damp it down so it burns for longer. Um, but once it starts to build up heat, and I've said this before, it holds the heat in here really well. So I've had a couple of times where I've had the message thing come up saying PS5 too hot, um, switch off, allowed to cool down. So I'm assuming the ambient temperature in the room has gone too high and it doesn't like it. And you hear the fan kicking. Um, so I've got a little fan blowing on it. I've got a spare one, which I might have two fans blowing on it now. Um, as I was driving up a minute ago, I went and grabbed the pickup, started driving up. It came up with that sign. Now, normally, I'll just turn one of the fans on, good as gold, temperature comes down, all good. That message came up, PS5 too hot, and then it turned off completely. I thought I'd had a catastrophic PS5 failure. I thought, that's it, it's dead, it's gone. I turned the fans on, I left it for a while. Um, I, I couldn't get it to turn back on. I will, oh man. Because I sat and thought, well, that's... That's my livelihood. <laughs> Without my PS5, I'm done. Um, so I'm a little bit panicked now. I'm not going to lie. I'm thinking what I might have to do during the winter is just suck it up. You know, put the stove on with a few bits just to warm it through first thing in the morning. But come out here and make sure I've got a tracksuit track top and I'm, I'm warm, dressed you know, sensibly. And just keep it a little bit chillier out here so that it doesn't overheat i was just yeah that was a bit of a oh my heart went after doing the fire thing as well blimey governor what's going on um so we need to go for a livestock animal transport type doodaddery and like i say if we use we could use that if we borrowed their lorry but that's quite expensive to lease and that only does 12 cows at a time anyway that one does 14 cows. Huh? Half the price? Half the price, twice the fun. Uh, let's lease that. How much is that? 2,142. It's worth it. We'll get the cows out. We'll get them sorted. That's what we need to do. So. I'm thinking now. I might have to open the man cave door. It's just getting warm in here as well. It's got a lovely... Obviously, yeah, there's a temperature above which, for me, I'm thinking, yeah, it's nice and warm. But it, I guess an ambient temperature is far worse. It's not going to like that, because as the actual thing warms up completely... Because I did think about getting, you know, like you can get the radiant heat things. It's not like, like microwave heat. It's like a panel. Um, and it's designed to heat the objects in a room, not the room itself. Um, they're very clever how they work. But my worry then was, well, that's fine, but that heat all the objects, which means if that heats up something like the PlayStation, that's not a good thing. I'm, I'm sure it's supposed to work so it doesn't affect, you know, things like televisions and electronics and stuff like that. I hope it does. I don't know. I've never really thought of it like that. 
So I was thinking of getting one of those, but then when I looked at it, the actual wattage required to run them is pretty high, which I can't do. I think I'm going to have to run... Um, I'm just going to open the main cave door, I think. Let me just stop there a second. Bear with me just a moment. That's better. I can feel it cooling down immediately. It's, it's pretty nippy outside today. I'm not sure what the temperature is. According to my computer, because it gives me my sort of local, the local weather, it's saying it's six degrees. <laughs> that's centigrade. I mean, that's that's low. It's been for a while actually. Um, I'm, I'm just waiting for those days where we get down to sub-zero. Oh, it's going to be a bit nippy. I'm pretty sure it's in here, isn't it? Troughs. Was it in here? Oh no, I did this before, didn't I? It's not in the barn, is it? I'm sure it's round. I want to say it's here. And I'm assuming it takes them from all of the, all of the area. I don't. I can't remember. So, but you can't take TMR and stuff out. Now I'm wondering, actually, I might do a test on here. You know when I said about um farm a cop do I just give them hay and see what happens should we do a hay test I might do you know I did this before didn't I there we go we're not on it because we're not on their farm, are we? That's why. Right, so we need to switch to the Bank of Missouri. Is the, is, did I say this before? Is it the Show Me State? Is that right? I thought it was here. Why is that not? There we go. Oh, it's panicking then. Huh? You're joking me. There's a hundred cows in here. I don't know if my farm will... I thought we only had... Oh, blimey. They're 19 months, zero months. Oh, they've given birth. Or they're just new. Oh, man, I didn't realise we had that many... That's going to be a problem. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Um, now, does our pen hold 200? Can't remember. God, this is going to be a bit of a job, isn't it? So yeah, I, I started doing, like I normally do, prep for TMR, because the plan was always to come and get them. I wasn't planning on getting them so soon, um, but it just seems to be the right thing to do now. Um, but my concern now, like I say, I've got my straw, I've got some silage, I've got some hay, and then like I say, in light of Farmer Cop's um, testing that he did, and he found in his testing that the hay was just as productive, I mean, <laughs> within you know small tolerances as making tmr so why go to the bother of making tmr if you can just feed them hay which you know what that makes perfect sense if we can do alfalfa hay and we can get you know two three cuts a year out of it why would we so i think we'll test it so what we'll do we'll just feed them hay um we'll put that in and we'll see what happens productivity wise and and whatnot if it all goes well it's an odd thing isn't it because it's that thing of it, it kind of unless you want to go ultra realistic and I, I would like I said well having watched Joe Seals and a few of the guys recently um, I would rather go down a route of more realistic in adding in extra things I know we have mineral feed but like I said about you know um, beet fodder and stuff like that 
um, or potatoes or just adding some extra things in with them and I know some I've said this before some maps have them I know they do all oh, pumpkins are all, all orange again now every now and again they seem to go green sometimes they're orange I've gone the wrong way haven't I I need to put a track from here to here for when I make a mistake like this and I have to cut across the grass uh, now this is another one whereabouts am I putting these in I can't remember but I'll need to switch back to that then we'll go to that I think we're at the other end aren't we pretty sure it's the other end there we go Actually, we're going to need the straw for bedding, aren't we? So that's fine. Uh, have we got a manure heap on site? I don't know if we have, have we? What's this have built in? I can't remember. Open the back up. Do that. Select 14. Move to husbandry. Oh, 350 we can do here. Oh, that's right. So we can move the whole 100. That's good. I was concerned. I'm not going to lie. This is going to take me a little while. So I'm going to go backwards and forwards. Move the 100 out. Cow rescue. Not quite as cool as international rescue, but you know. Thunderbirds and all that. Right, that can go off. Um, I don't think. Food, milk, straw, slurry. Got the slurry pits around the side there. So we might have to put in a manure heap as well. It's all expense at the moment. It's costing me a hum and a leg. Next load. It's 11 o'clock. Last two going in. Just the way it worked out. 14 at a time. Uh, we've got 98 in there. Last two. And we have rescued the cows. Just a small matter of um, sorting out everything now. So the problem is now because I've decided to not do total mix rations to start off with, do a hay test. I had to set everything up for um, for total mix ration production. So all my bales are over by the silage clamp. Um, as it turns out now, that's not what I need. That's annoying, isn't it? Um, what I think I'm probably going to do, first I'm going to do a test. Um, don't look over to the left. I'm not admitting to anything. I'm, I'm not admitting guilt. I'm, I, I don't know how it happened. Um, someone knocked over some bales. <laughs> oh, honest gov, it wasn't me. Um, so, first test, alfalfa bale. Because that was one of the things in the live stream. A couple of people commented and said alfalfa's not working. It won't take alfalfa. So, let's try it. I'm sure someone then did say they... It was what else was it that wouldn't take it in um, so we'll try it and then what I'm thinking is for the bulk of the hay to start off with we can use the hay that's there that we just finished on that baling contract that corn is looking amazing very high very big um, and I bring over the mixer and even if I just chuck in just hay I can fill up the mixer take the mixer down unload then I haven't got to go backwards and forwards of individual bales I could load up a bale trailer and take those over but the mixer wagon makes more sense because you can put individual crops in if you just want to shred up bales if you want to take your solid state bales and, and put them into a silo some silos don't take solid bales 
some require them to be a loose product you can stick them through a mixer wagon so the bigger the mixer wagon the, lo the longer the quicker it is to do so what we'll do the reason I knocked over that um, stack was because I tried one of the normal bales and it took it took the alfalfa we are golden so I know it's going to take it which is brilliant but it's got bedding in as well so I think what I'll start off with because it's over here out of the way of everything else that I'm going to put these ones in so I'm going to grab a tractor I'm going to grab the mixer wagon I'm going to just chuck hay in it and do the hay then we'll do the bedding get that in and then they've got feet if we come on here and check now our animals uh, we'll see over here we've just got hay now hay says 60 percent and like i said from farmer cops testing if you watch the video and i mentioned about it the other day and um, he did a video on cows and feed and did all various different tests the, the hay and tail mix ration came out almost identical productivity was almost exactly the same um, if you feed them just grass you won't get milk you won't get reproduction but um, hay bizarrely it came out exactly the same um, within you know some small tolerances there was a little bit less milk um, but nothing major you know and we need to also look and see what's available with regard to um, manure heaps so I want to put bedding in and start producing manure now bedding is one of those things you don't have to have bedding in there they will be productive without bedding the bedding will just give you manure a lot of people won't run straw they won't put what am i doing i need to get the so i'm, I'm in uh, single bale mode i need to uh, grab tractor grab that one grab the mixer wagon throw it all in like i say did um, I'm saying this will work. It's, there's this weird situation I often find, and I don't know if it's misremembering between versions of the game, or whether as the game goes through its stages from first release to now, when it has updates, things that you know in your head work, then you try them again and they don't. Or, or it might be maps and, and mod conflicts and various idiosyncrasies for you know a specific map you might be on things that you you know work and you go and try them and then they don't and you think i feel like an idiot now because i'm sure this worked before um and it turns out it's, it's actually not you it's just something you know something odd i need to get this in the right orientation i can get the bales put them in without too much too much prevarication that should reach just need to get on the edge and then i can back away there we go. Boom. It's not a big mixer, and I guess I, I could probably just take two bales at a time, maybe. I don't know. And the good thing with it as well, or what the good thing with it, he says, what used to be the case was you could just stack this up with bales. It wouldn't matter. You'd have the mix in there, however many you had in there, and if you put bales in, they would sit whole until it emptied, then they would mix the rest in. So you can technically get away with putting more in than you should does that make sense we'll try it because we will we will hit full i love doing stuff like this so how are we looking not quite there yet Getting there rapidly though. 90, yeah, of course it is. So the next one should fill up, but then you'll have a partial bale that won't have been shredded because the mix is at capacity. So I'm thinking if I put two more in, then I should be able to unload it, and then it will... Can I get into the second one? I don't know, can, can I? Or oh, maybe just about. Having that weight on the back of this skid still loader makes such a big difference. Don't fall off, don't fall off. So they should fall in. <laughs> Find this doesn't work. Now I always say this, you know, learn along with Mr. Silly P. 
And the thing is, learning is not always getting it right first time. If you get it wrong, that's just another way not to do it. You're still learning. You've learned something. You've learned how not to do something. <laughs> always look for the positive spin. Right, so... Should empty out. There you go. So it's taken those bales as well and continually chopped as it's gone. I assume it's done that. Should have done. It's taken everything out of there. So what we now do is go to there and we've got 49,627 litres in there. Have we? That's impressive. So I'll do the same thing again, and this is going to take absolutely loads. If I, and that's the only downside, because I, if I had prepped and said to myself straight off the bat, okay, we're just going to do hay, I would have made sure I picked up every bailing contract I'd get my hands on with hay, or um, when I did all my fields here, I wouldn't have put all the grass into the silage clamp, I would have turned it to hay, I would have tethered it, and we would have had tons of hay bales. Um, if you're doing total mix ration, because you're using three constituent parts and possibly mineral feed, or two constituent parts, you can get far more capacity um, because you've got more product. Does that make sense? You, you know, if I've got 200,000 litres of hay, 200,000 litres of straw, 200,000 litres of silage, I've got 600,000 litres. If I've only got 200,000 litres of hay, with the other two component parts I was going to use, but then don't use them, I've now only got 200,000 litres of mix because I'm only putting hay in there. So I don't know if I'm going to have enough hay. And the problem is if I put all the hay in and then it goes really quickly, I'm then in a position where I've got to ask myself, okay, now I can't make total mix ration because I don't have the hay part, which I'm going to need. So what I need to do is keep my eyes open. I need to fertilise my alfalfa field over there I have leased a fertiliser spreader and we've got that fertiliser left from when we did the fertiliser contract a little while ago. So what I'm going to do is fertilise the alfalfa field and the, the straw field. Well, it's not straw field, the field had wheat on it. So it's got some fertilising on it. Then I'll plough that um, the field that's got that we took the straw off of and we'll kind of go from there. I hope I'm making sense. It will, it will all become clear as we go along. So I'm going to put some more of this in and then I'll see you in a minute when we'll do the same for, um, I'll leave the engine running, we'll do the same for straw, I'll get a load of straw bales thrown into here and we'll get some bedding in there. So at least they've got feed, they've got bedding, water they don't have to worry about, they've got that anyway. Um, and we should, that is right isn't it? Hang on. And then we need to sort out, um, actually before we put the straw in I need to sort out, yeah they don't need water. Already producing slurry. There is some milk over at the, the other farm. So potentially, if I can get permission from the uh, from the bank, we'll we'll grab that. Because if we've got the cows, we can um, yeah, we'll do something with it. That was weird. My hand just slipped to the control for a minute.
For the time being then, the cows are rescued. They're in, they're safe. They've got water, they've got hay to eat, they've got straw bedding. Everything is good in the world. Uh, manure heap, I'm going to put in a Bavarian styley. Cheaper with the same capacity. So if we go to, uh, what do you want? Silos. Yeah, two grand. 4,000, 4,000, 4 million litres. Do that and put it about, put it there. That should work. Because we've got our bedding in there. It's right next to the cow building. Oh, I could have gone way further back, couldn't I? Oh, that's all right. It's right out there. So we should get our manure coming out of there. Um, so that's that sorted. I used all of the hay bales from there. I used... Uh, how many straw bales did I use? Not a huge amount. And what I'm going to do now is top up the hay with what's there, I think. Um, if we look on, on here... 89,949 litres of straw in there, 122,121 of hay. So I might get that so it goes into the green. And once it's in the green, then not put any more in. Then I've got some spare, so if we do need to switch over to total mix ration, we can make total mix ration. If we end up not making total mix ration, if we run them with just hay, that means all that silage we've produced, we can sell. Um... So that will work out quite well. And once all the grass grows back again, then we can make more hay and we'll just we'll just store hay. We'll, we'll have, I could probably, because the bale situation, well, like anything, we could put hayloft in. Um, that way, if we've just got tons and tons of hay, if we decide to do sheep as well, we feed the sheep hay too. So either way around, it's going to work out all right. I have taken the liberty of, while I was in, in between jobs, <laughs> if there's such a thing. Uh, I bought the lorry along to field six and I bought the harvester along, parked it just out the front, then came back in to carry on. So what we're going to do is grab the harvester, whiz out and get that harvesting contract done for the bank. So what I need to do now is switch over to the bank just to make sure everything's good as gold. This will go to the sell point. Whatever the contract's worth, um, We'll get the payment for it because we're doing it. They just want it cleared. And anything left over, we'll keep hold of. So what we need to do, as I always forget, let's open up the harvester. The field's right here, so it should be all right. Um, thinking. I know I don't do that very often, do I? But... We can swing this round here. I just don't want to block the county road, you know. Oh, it's a wibbly. It's a wibbly wobbly one. Oh, not my favourite. I should have come round a little bit better than that. Let's go that way. Come on now. Play the game. That wasn't too bad. Could have been worse. Pull that so it's level there. I don't really want to go down the ditch with the harvester. That's not the best idea, is it? And let's go sorted. I'm glad we sorted the cores the, the cor the cor out, the cows. And the fertilising and ploughing is going to be the next episode. Whether that be alive or not, I'm not too sure. Let's get cracking. Up in there. Drop that, there we go. Excellent. So when we've, when we've sorted out our, and ploughed our field, we, I might plough it and roll it. I've been doing that quite a lot recently, rather than just seeding. I mean, we could direct drill it. Um, I need to check our seeds, actually, to see our seeds and our planter, whether they're direct drill. I can't remember or not. Um, it needs ploughing anyway, and it's going to need liming, so I have to buy some lime too. Um, so we'll get those done. 
but yeah, I've just found ploughing it and then sort of seeding directly onto a ploughed field. I know in game you can do it, and it's something I've I've done for a long time. If a field needed ploughing, I ploughed it and then just go bang, let's just seed it because why would you do the extra step? But again, that that part of my brain now is saying, yeah, but you shouldn't, you know trying to seed over that would be bonkers you know obviously once we get the um, premium expansion if you're doing potatoes or any of the new crop types and you've got to use the, the ridges or the hillers to, to do that you know that's going to be a whole different ball game that's going to change all sorts of things but for the time being this is what we need It's going to take a little bit of time. It's not a massive. Head. I mean, it's a big harvester. It's a. You know, when I say it's not a massive header compared to, you know, it's all. Um, re what's the word? Relative. It's all relative. It depends on, like I said before, where you farm, what equipment you run. To some people that are running 60 foot headers, this is not a very big header. If you're running four, you know, five meter headers or three meter headers, or you know, then this is a massive header. It just all depends. When you're doing big open field work like this, it seems to just get lost like a little sailing boat on an ocean, you know, it just seems tiny. But then on Court Farm, where I'm doing my other Let's Play, a harvest of this side, the size would be bonkers. I wouldn't get it through the lanes, I wouldn't get it through the gateways. Oh, that's really pushing the power, isn't it? Check out them peas. Well, we'll see what we end up with then. Actually, now I'm going this way. I'm looking, thinking, oh man, this field goes on forever. Not forever, but it's, it's, um, it's definitely bigger than I thought it was. I'll see you later. We are first full road and we're racing the rain. The rain of things come up. It, may, it could be two hours away, it could be an hour away. I haven't checked the weather forecast. Uh, we are dropping this off at the grain cell point, which is just around the just around the bend. Please don't hit the roof. Seventy nine per cent delivered. Let's have a quick check. We don't know how much more of the field we've got left. Uh, crop types, crop types. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. We might have a little leftover, who knows? Doesn't matter if we don't. We're doing the contract anyway. I'll see you when we're done. I have come up with the Puma, grabbed the little fertiliser spread that I've leased. I was going to buy it, but I thought we'll lease it again for the time being, then maybe I can look at... When I did the, the other contract, I, I leased the um, the six tonne fertiliser, 32 Studio. This one's just a one of the ones that clips onto your three point link behind 2,600 litres, I think. And because we're right by the farm and I've got fertiliser there, if I have to come back and refill, I'll come back and refill. It was only because the other one was a contract and I was a long way out, I thought I'd have to uh, keep an eye on it. Now we're looking. There's a van approaching very quick. I've noticed the traffic on here just does not stop. It pulls out in front of you. 
does that, crashes into the back of you. It's all right. It's not my lorry. This belongs to... Uh, well, no, I don't put it out. Belongs to the bank. Last bit, 19,850 litres. If we've been efficient in the setting up of our harvester, we shouldn't have left anything on the floor, anything coming out the back of the harvester, anything bouncing out of the front of the header. We should be good and we might have some extra yield. I'm not going to keep hold of it. What we'll do is we'll put it all in and then whatever the money works out to be, we'll just yeah, we'll get that back from the bank. I think it's probably the best bet because I think it's finances really at the moment more than crop. So if we unload that in its entirety... So I made an extra 4,756. We'll park this up at the store. So 4,756, wasn't it? And then the contract itself. There we go. 10,472. So we're looking at about 14,8, 14,9. About that. So we'll collect on that. So that's gone up to the bank. We now switch back over to our account. By the time we get back to the, back to the, the farm, um, the money should be in our account. So that's good. So, what am I going to do? Fertising. I'll get the fertising done, and then hopefully the next episode will be um, a live stream. And the live stream, because we've got a couple of harvest contracts available, we've got some ploughing to do, we need to put a new crop into our field. Um, th that I'm not going to necessarily give you guys watching a set of options. Now, when I did the last poll in the last live stream, I said, uh, you know, do we do this or this and poll? What I might do is just ask the question, what do you want me to do next? Just a completely open-ended question. What do you want me to do next? Um, and we'll see what people come up with. And then if we get a sort of a main theme, main idea, we can then maybe do a vote on one or two options. But I just think an open-ended, what, yeah, what do you think? What, where do we go next? With fewer contracts available, contract work might be harder to do, but you, you might have some ideas of things you want me to you know, you might want me to do sheep. You might want me to get some crop in the ground. Like I said, I need to I need to plough the field, um, or plough one of my fields. What crop do you want me to put in the ground? You know, all those kind of things. What are you guys going to want me to do? So I'll be, see you back at the store. Uh, back at the store. Back at the farm in just a moment. There we go. So money's been paid. We're back up to thirty-two grand. Oh, you know what? I'm going to going to embarrass myself. Why not? I thought that was an arc down. I thought that's going to be perfect. It's going to hit the backboard and drop straight in. Nope. So this is what we've got. Like I said, I'm sure it's 2,600. It was only 400 to lease. Pull that down a little bit. Got all these left over from before. Which I don't know if we've got, if we've got a front weight anywhere. I think we have, have we? Hmm. That might be an issue. We'll see how much weight we get on it. We can always swap over to a different tractor if it's too much over the back axle. It probably would be in reality. Oh, it took a bit of a sag there, but it's still working. Do we want to swap out any of the tractors? That's probably another question I might ask when we live stream next is how do people feel about the equipment we're using? Is there anything they want to see differently? Um, do we want to get a big bank loan and buy more equipment? Do we want to go bigger equipment? I always get sort of criticised for going... for. I, I tend to try and find cheap equipment but with high horsepower and then people say, but you know, you haven't tried to grow at all. You've just gone straight in for big gear. So what do you guys want me to do? Um, you know... And if you're on the stream, if you're watching the stream, you get to make that decision. 
that's not going down as fast as I thought it was going, so that's good. So we'll get the second, this, so this is the second fertilising state on our alfalfa field. Uh, we'll get this done. And we'll go over to the other field, we'll get the, um, we'll get that nitrogened. And then we'll look at our options, well, say our options. I need to fertilise, no, that was a better angle than that. Um, and then we're just going to need liming as well and ploughing and yeah, so yeah we've got we've got some jobs to do definitely the other thing i was thinking something i haven't tried in absolutely ages um is with regard to doing if i did a silage harvest let's say we did that field that big corn i said big corn i mean it's a fairly big corn field if we did half of that corn harvest and half of its silage harvest but I'm trying to remember now whether or not we can silage harvest corn in its final growth stage. I'm sure you can silage harvest it when it's green, can't you? Or at least you used to be able to. I, that's not something I think I've done in FS22. I, I always used to just wait for it to be completely harvested anyway. But I think for better silage, uh, for better maize silage, they generally silage harvest it when it's, um, when it's green. But, um, I don't know. So, so we could always test it, I guess. I'm sure there are people in the comments that have done it already and do it regularly. I just can't remember. I know, if, I'm sure it was FS19 you could. So, got the jobs done I need to do today. Well, an extra job as well. I wasn't intending doing the cows initially, but got the cows done, got the harvest contract done. So that's kind of the bank off of off of not our backs, but sort of locally. We'll see what the county or the bank does now with regard to clearing that farm of all the bales and stuff. I don't know if that's something they're going to want us to do, or you know, whether we get contracted to do it, or whether we'll just do it as a neighbourly thing to do. Get out there with uh, I don't know skid steel loaders, bulldozers, I don't know whatever, and just get rid of it all. Or whether there's something they'll sort of, I don't know. We've got rubbish to get rid of at our farm as well. But that's a tricky one to, to do. Um, it's almost like we need a, a mix of Frontier and, and other maps, isn't it? Because when you've got piles of rubble and rubbish and old cars and stuff, you almost need scrap metal. You need scrap metal and you need piles of rock for all the stones and all the stuff that are piled up so that you can remove them as separate entities. We can demolish them, of course we can, but I'm just thinking sort of more of a storyline type thing. But anyway, all of that being said, um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for joining me. If you have, even if you haven't, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.